of your TV and your underwear Chromecasting us on your TV because it's Sunday. Hello? Hey! Hello! I am Save Yourself the Beard. What up? I'm Gia the Moe! Damn, that was the time delay. <laughs> What's up? It's Sunday. It's another live show. It's been a crazy ass week, but we picked out topics for you to opinionate with us. We're about yes. to give you an opinion on something. This one is pre recorded. Our, our topics. This one's pre recorded. Pre recorded. Pre recorded. Pre recorded. Pre recorded. However, you know, uh, we're going to put on the show regardless. Yeah. And we couldn't show make, must go on. We couldn't make it live this Sunday, and probably for the next few Sundays, we got some stuff to do. But we're working hard, and we're going to put out a video regardless. So. Yeah, this yeah. weekend I'll be going out to my sister-in-law's re-wedding. Shout out, shout out to the family. Shout out to her family. Shout out to your family. So ooh, I'm, ooh, I'll, ooh. I'll, tag her, I'll tag her in this so she can see the shout out. What up? Yeah, man. So uh, welcome to another Beard and Mo Live. Uh, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, everything live, MySpace Live. Get the we, list. We live streaming. We live The Rock and Vin Diesel. Uh, we talked about it last week, last episode. Yeah, we Talked yeah. about The Rock and Vin Diesel. Yeah. Beef, right? The beef. So, there is so what no, happened? The beef. There let's, is no beef let's now. Let's update me. There is no beef now. Apparently, Vin Diesel and Rocky got into a room. They squashed the beef. You know, they let bygones be bygones. But why not? But I am so disappointed. Why are you disappointed? I wanted to see the fight. You want to see a brawl? I wanted to see. I want to see the brawl. <laughs> but see, I think I'm gonna get cheated because. The brawl's gonna be in a movie, and then it'll be you know one sided because who's a bigger character in the movie? Yeah, but Dominic. But, but you know what I think happened? Dominic, I'm Dominic Toretto. He, he talks. You well. don't. <coughs> you don't mess. <coughs> Brian O'Connor. Brian. Brian. <laughs> but yo, you, you, don't, you do you think? You don't mess with family. Yo, I, you know what I think Brian, happened? Brian. You know what I think happened? Brian. Do you know what I think happened? <laughs> what happened? Between Bendy's and The Rock? What? I think they saw the Binamo live show yeah. last week. And they saw that we were talking about it. And then we said, The Rock's going to stomp that ass. And Bendy's got scared? And Bendy's got scared. You I know? had money in my boy Vin, though. I had money in my boy Vin. My, my, my boy Vin would have slapped the ass. I know he has Napoleon Syndrome right now. Vin because Diesel. The Rock, you know, overshadows him. But, you know, I, I, I wanted to see it happen. Hey, yo, Rock. Hey, Rock. Hey, Rock. He's in this And he's like a, why, he's why like a doing, younger version. He's like a Rocky? younger version. Yeah. The Rocky. And hey, yo. He's like, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Rock. He's in this room. Yeah, I'm Dominic but, um, Toretto. Hey, Brian. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what I think Brian, happened, Brian, don't touch my sister. They've been watching the show, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they were watching Beard and Mo, and, the, the, and Vin Diesel was like, yo, he's right. He's a, he's a, he's a foot taller. He's, he's, a profe- foot he's a professional two. fighter. He's a Samoan. I never met a Samoan that can't, couldn't fight. And he's a professional wrestler. Well, he, if he listened to you, and he got 100 pounds if he listened to you, then of course not. Of course he won't, he'll squash the beef. But if he listened to me, he'll drink that Brugal and get down and dirty, bro. Yeah, you already know and, what the Brugal and do. Know, and you know what happens if he does that? There's no yeah. other Fast and the Furious. He goes out in epic form. No, but uh, wait, hold on one second. The rest of that the article says that they squashed the beef and that The Rock agreed to film the next Fast and Furious and two. the next two Fast and Furious. Yep. So that, remember we were saying that thing? Yeah. Remember we were saying, okay, Vin Diesel and The Rock going to have beef, but if I was Vin Diesel, I'm the, I'm the creator or co-creator or writer, Yeah. what is the next movie going to be about if I don't got The Rock, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. So that's you true. don't, and, and especially probably the way the, the movie played out, he didn't play it up. So that he could build up other characters, you know what I mean. Uh, so, so not I'm not saying that The Rock is the main guy, but The Rock is a big part, or like at least carries a little bit of the load. But right? apparently, the beef was all over who is the bigger star. Right now, and, and, in and, and, hindsight, and, and camera time and stage yeah, time and all that. But in this movie, uh, either or, this movie they both carry the movie. Before it was before it was Paul Walker, Paul Walker and Vin. And Vin. Now it, it has to be. Dwayne and Finn. Somebody else. Yeah, somebody else. And, and so it's exactly. So if I'm Vin Those Diesel. Those are the only two characters. Who else is going to carry it? But, yeah. that, but this is what happened, bro. I think Vin Diesel had a humbling experience. Because at the end of the day, okay, they, they, the, the, for those who don't know, the numbers are going crazy. They're crushing all the numbers and everything. <laughs> he got his check. So, and he's like, yo, yeah. Rock, don't worry so, about it, so bro. So Vin's like, Vin's, <laughs> Vin's, like, Vin's like, yo, we killing it. So now he's, okay, now you're thinking, right, they signed for the next two, three installments, yeah. right? So now you're thinking... Okay, what's the next movie gonna be about if The Rock's gonna walk, right? Yeah. If I'm beefing with The Rock. So, of course, you gotta make up because now you, you gotta sell tickets, dog. You gotta keep it going. So, that's what happened, man. Vin <laughs> no, Diesel was like, no. yo, I gotta call The Rock up and I gotta squash his beef. I know, I know exactly what happened, bro. Because he's the draw. Vin, Vin had some backed up bills. 
He had some nice stress. He was stressing life. And he, yeah. he let that shit, he exuberated that Sean set. He, yeah. he was he was two two payments behind his so, belly. So and when he got that check, he was like, yo, bro, my bad, bro. So I need rocks, a Snickers bar. So the Rock's all paying his bills. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I don't blame him because the Rock is the draw. Yeah, he is, You know is, what I'm saying? Bro. The Rock is hot right now, man. He's got Baywatch, I mean, he's got Ballers, he's got Jumanji. He got mad stuff lined up. Honestly, I went to see the movie and Vin I Diesel think... Vin Diesel got the next Fast and the Furious. That's I all w- he got. <laughs> I went to see the movie and I felt a little oh, bit. Yeah. I felt a little bit. Um, about that. I, I, I felt a little bit like I was in Triple X. I was watching Triple X. Are oh, they were doing Triple X stuff? Triple like X stuff. Daredevil. Like stuff? it went. It before it was all about the races and this and that, and lately it's been going into this whole um, Triple X. I, I, you, you can see the influence. No, but you know what it is? I think eventually it has to evolve. I mean, the, the it has to evolve. Because it, yes, can't just, of it can't just be racing and cars. It, because it can't it be. Evolved, so it's evolved to this Italian job. It's Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, you know, it's, it's evolved to that thing. And the the crazy thing was with the submarine. They say that the submarines can't go that fast. No, they can't. Submarines can only go like twenty five or thirty miles an hour, apparently. And then, but this, this thing was keeping up with like. This shit know, with the fast cars. They have fucked up cars. But you know what? You know what though? But they were they were on ice, so the wheels were going fast <laughs> enough. Yeah. 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 Now, 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 <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, I'm a sucker for these like action movies. These yeah. like these like no plot, no acting, like just action movies, you know, uh, Transformers, blow them up, bang bang, special effects movies. Like bang, bang. Like, like Expendables, Grab I'll dick, watch walk away. Expendables forty seven. When they're on, 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 on crutches and walkers, I will watch that. Because right. I, I'm a sucker for a good action movie. But, but <laughs> hey, yo, Mickey. You, you want to hear something funny? Do you remember Fast, either 6 or 7, when they were on the tarmac of the, pl- the, uh, the airport? And uh-huh. they were doing that whole fighting scene where they go into the plane, the cargo plane, and the, and the plane's still going. Yeah, yeah, The plane's still going. And the Let cars the girl are, dies. And the car, yes, and the, girls, and the cars are still going, right? Yeah. They said that they someone someone calculated how far the tarmac had to be for them to film the entire thing. The tarmac had to be twenty five miles, the runway. They said the longest airplane runway in the world is five miles. So they they replay so, that shit a couple of times. So, so they like made some like un, unreal stuff. And not you know, but you don't think about it's that. Entertainment you know, like, it's, it's, it's it's entertainment though. It's so dope, you. right? And that's when the rock. You know what? It entertained that person so much. He yeah. had to figure out what happened, and he was so bored. He was like, "This can't be." Yeah. He wanted to try himself. Oh, of course, it's fake. I mean, Yo, they... Do you remember the first Fast and the Furious when everyone's trying to drive their cars under the 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 traders? Oh, the trucks. Oh yeah. my! In New York, it was crazy. That it was, was crazy. like. I calculated that shit. It was possible if you had like a a, a, a yeah like a, a go kart or like now like a smart car. Go kart. Not even a flame, no, not even. Nothing can fit under there. You know what's funny? When Fast and Furious 1 came out, was it 2002, um, three, three, something like something that? Like, I remember, bro, I remember when Fast and Furious came out, it was a big thing. Because Real big. there was not really a movie like that in precedent no. before. You, you want to hear something funny? In Yorktown Heights, where I grew up, right? Yorkshire Heights? You know, I was maybe 17, 18. I forget how old I was. No, no, I was... Just real I was quick, in holler, holler, holler. Shout out to all you Yorkshire Heights people. Yorktown Heights. Shout out Yorkshire, to Yorktown, Westchester York County. East. Westchester County and, and, and New York. So, yo, so, yo, so, so guess what? When, when Fast and Furious 1 came out, there was police lined up outside the movie theater <laughs> waiting for people. So, like, a lot of my boys and people, they went, like, Friday night or whatever, the premiere, and they all pulled out. You know, with the Civics and the fucking, ooh, with the Acumen and the Tech, with the Tigers and the, yeah. the Preludes and all that. But, yo, and they all got tickets, dog. The next day, the next day, I used to work at Next Town in the mall. Yeah. They all, the next day, they all come to the, to, 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 the, to the spot. And they're like, yo, I got a ticket. You got a ticket. I got a ticket. You got a ticket. I got a ticket. Yo, they all got tickets, dog. The, the, all the cops were waiting. So they all got tickets. Yo. Man. I I knew I know people that's that lived that life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that that story is from if you don't know that story is originally from Washington Heights. I grew up. What do you mean? The, the Fast and the Furious, the original story is from people. It's taken from one dude from Washington Heights. From racing, like racing and stuff. Racing and stuff. Street, yeah. Street racing. So street racing is was big. I, my cousin was in it. Yeah. I, his friends went in it. Especially that I, time, I, man. I, like like yeah, late nineties, early two yeah. thousands. It was. It was souping up your Big. cars and you know turbo yeah. and, and, and to, to this day, there's a lot of uh, other people, a lot of people doing it. But um, 
I, I've seen it firsthand and it's freaking crazy. It, it, I've been in a car. I've been in a Supra doing 120 on the highway. Supra. Remember the Supra? Well, I, yeah. That's what, what uh, Paul Walker was driving. Yep. And originally, remember the orange one? It was the orange Supra. White Supra. Uh, uh, I forget what color interior. We're going, you know the Henry Hudson? Not Henry yeah, Hudson, yeah. Uh, Cross Bronx. Oh, Cross Bronx, yeah. Going to jump Westchester. Yeah. From Fordham. Oh, my. Damn, Yo, bro, my cars, balls bro. are... Like but it was, this. that's a lot. That's a congested area, though. There's a lot of cars. Bro, in that, in that 120. Highway. Or were you going late night? Or it was like uh, light traffic, mid afternoon, medium traffic. Wow. But it had a good driver, so that's but, what but counts. That's, I mean, anyway, man. But it, it's funny now. Now we're up to number eight. So eight. we're eight. You know? Yeah. And, and, and it's been about 15 years now. Yo, it's, it's a disclaimer. Disclaimer right now. This is not a kid friendly show. This is not one of those episodes. To watch with your child. No, we will put this child. Child's watching this. Advisor. Don't watch this. Uh, <laughs> watch next week's episode. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, but a stalker was caught in Drake's house. A stalker was caught in Drake's house. Basically, start, Drake wasn't there. Stalker comes. Um, she's 24. I'm trying to like make it fast. She's 24, and she was caught wearing one of Drake's um, hoodies. Spun in his cologne, doing all this crazy shit, and she got arrested. Not for how was she a, caught? Uh, I think the alarm went off. She set the alarm off. Alarm off, yeah. So she definitely. snuck into the house. Stuck in, broke into the house. How the hell do you sneak into a house? You break into a house, bro. So you jump the fence. Million dollar house. Like you jump the fence, bro. Yeah, million dollar house. Like, when you're crazy, anything is possible. Nah, yeah. When you're crazy, you, when you're crazy, you the impossible is reachable. You blur because, things out. Yeah. And she was she was a, she was by herself. She was by herself that's in even, his house. That's even crazier. So okay, so they find her. Yep. Then what happens? Uh, they arrest her. But she was. What were you saying? She was wearing something. She's wearing. I think. I think the the Drake's entourage found her. Call the cops. Uh, okay. Then um. Then that's when the whole robbery thing came. She got arrested for robbery. What she steal? For burglary. She stole a soda. What soda? A Sprite. She stole a Sprite. She, she stole a Sprite, all right? She stole a Sprite. So he had a Sprite. What is your What is your thoughts? Let me Let me know what you're thinking. Like, if you, all right, this happened to him. If you had a stalker that run up in your shit, and you ain't have, you don't have money. Let's, let's, let's say this house. You have money. A stalker come up in this shit. You find her, and she she faded or attracted that shit in your clothes, in your bed, in your soda, in your soda. <laughs> 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 but but everything she's doing like all the like the account of like what you're saying it's all like crazy it's all crazy, it's all crazy. because none of she it she broke in none of it's logical to me like, she don't know you she broke in where's his stuff right where's his stuff smells his cologne steals the c- steals <laughs> soda a uh, spray right? soda and it's in your bed and it's in your bed no, that's that's no, that's no, that's nah. mentally unstable. What would you what would you do? Uh, what would you do if you encounter that? Because I Drake would. didn't have Drake didn't encounter it. He knows the story. Yeah. He was in somewhere else. Nah, I would gratefully I would, because would, you know um, she, she she could have been the psycho. I would prescribe her medicine. You would prescribe her medicine at that moment. Like what would and, you do? And send her to, send her to the crazy house because she's fitted for a straight jacket. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So you know what's funny is that that's not the first time I've heard these kind of stories. Like, no, because you hear about other celebrities, comedians. Yeah. Uh, uh, they'll say, okay, you know, I went to Hong Kong, whatever, to do a show, and out pops up a person from my hotel room or my dressing room. Yeah. They pop out of the closet. You know, I'm here. Can I take a picture? I know it looks crazy. Can I take a picture? And, yo, they, they, that's that's normal. Yeah, that's, that's normal. normal. Groupy life. That's groupy life. I, I can understand a hotel, but this is your house, bro. That's true, too. This she, is your house. She broke in, like I want to know how she broke into. Did she some Ocean's Eleven Fast she, and the yo, Furious into the house? Because she used her phone. She, she like she like, like, she, like yeah. she like send a security guy to like send the loop. You know the loop. Where yeah, like, she like, got looped that shit. She got she, looped, looped the security camera. She's she's fucking like you know passing by the, the pit bulls and like I'm, she's feeding <laughs> like, peanut butter sandwiches. Like what? Yeah. She she's doing some ill shit, bro. Yo, she got in because I guarantee you Drake's security got to be unlocked. Because I'm I, I guarantee you that's not well, the first time either. It it it, it probably is unlocked, but dude. He's not in, not in the city. Right, but that but, was that. So how good can security be? We're not in the house. 
bro, but it's... Did you leave shit? Did you leave a whole bunch of shit in one detail, I don't know. Is this a Toronto house or is this LA house? Shit, I don't know. I don't know either. I, I think it... It doesn't I really think matter. It, has, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I, would, I would think that the home home, the Toronto home, is more like, you know, invested. Fortified, yeah. Fortified, exactly. But then again, it's LA. You're in the middle of like the whole... Anyway. But LA's either... It, LA's how many crazy. stalkers you get in LA? Exactly. Exactly. So you should even so, be having fortified. What would you do? What did I do? What would you do? I don't know. If you, you're in a situation... There's nothing you can do. You walk in. There's a random girl... You're beating a mall groupie. No, you have to call the cop. You have to call somebody, something. Because, okay. She says, I let myself in. You have to call the cops. You have to call a witness. Because something happens. God forbid something happens. And then next thing you know, she's pressing she's charges. She's pressing attraction, bro. pressing charges against you. Like, like you know, that's how some of the stuff, like, goes out. And they, they premeditate all this stuff, man. So, you you get a witness in the room is what you do. You're like, yo, yo. Hey, hey, come here. Consuela, the, the, the housekeeper, whoever. Co- like, let's make this a threesome. Come with, here. Yeah, you just get somebody <laughs> in the room, in the house, whatever. I would call the cops. I would leave. I would just anything. I, I would go Facebook Live at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would Facebook Live at that moment. Yo, that's so smart, though. Yeah. Because when you Facebook Live, everybody's Everyone's there. watching it. And you'd be like, yo, I just walked in. And this you know, crazy bitch in my bed. You're so smart, bro. So I would tag, I would tag, um, everybody, everybody, Pornhub, <laughs> <laughs> Pornhub, Twitter, Trump. I'm taking everyone, everybody. Yo, hey, yo, president, the, the president. Police, yo, the yo, we need to bomb this bitch. She, she, gain, she gain chemical in this shit, bro. Yo, yo you tag the police department. The, 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 tag the police department. Toronto, I, I ain't call you. Police department. Because shit didn't get serious yet. I would, I would tag ADT. <laughs> the security system. Like, your response time is horrible. If they, they come in yo, here at this bro, time. Bro, oh, my God, bro. bro. That's hilarious, bro. The, you, Man, you, I would you, Facebook you, live this shit. You would say, hold up. Last street, say hi to everybody. I, I'll do the whole intro. I'll be like, hello, hello, hello. This is save yourself the beer. And I just fall, I just found a stocker bitch in my bedroom. Yo, she, she be so goofy. She be like, what's happening? And you're what's happening? alive, Yo, bitch. say hi to the internet, everybody. <laughs> 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 oh my god, bro, that's hilarious. I'm not gonna lie, that's hilarious. Man. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's move on. Uh, <laughs> no, if we're gonna move on since you were talking about cell phones, this year at Coachella. Okay. This year at Coachella there was a guy who was caught stealing a hundred cell phones. Now, now here's a twist. Yeah. There's mixed reviews. What do you mean? So what happened? So, so basically, this guy got break caught down, break down details. stealing a uh, hundred, a hundred cell phones, iPhones, whatever it is. I, it was uh, iPhones. I, th- I think it was iPhones. iPhones, yeah. Because everyone started using the Find My iPhone app, and his back started vibrating. So boom, that's how he gets caught. Yep. But there's a whole bunch of people saying he's not a criminal. Um, it was even a lawyer saying I will, I will work for him pro bono because they're saying that he saved a hundred people. From taking photos of shit that happened at Coachella. <laughs> so, he wrote a criminal. I, I, I don't know this guy's name. It was some Spanish name because it was a Spanish dude from Queens. Um, so, what do you think? Is this dude a hero for saving these kids? I don't think he's a hero. People <clears throat> from taking incriminating photos. I don't think he's a hero. Because, first of all, if you weren't supposed to take no. incriminating photos, incriminating photos... They will take your cell phones because when you go to Dave Chappelle and you go to Kevin Hart's comedy shows, you know there's, there's about, bouncers that take your phone. Yeah, no, but they, they're or not, they tell about, you they tell you to turn it off. The moment they see a phone, they kick you out. I'm not talking about videotaping the thing because they'll let you videotape. It doesn't it. matter. But Coachella's but if, a festival, right? But if they set that precedent, that rule, then you don't have to worry about that. That's not the rule though. The, now the, the incriminating photos, as far as incriminating as shit. Oh, Michelle Obama daughter's over here, my, my, you know, okay. smoking okay, cigarettes. No, those, no, okay. those kind of photos. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, it's fine. But again, it's, it's Coachella. It's up to Coachella's, you know, a discretion to do that. Now, second of all, that was a dumb robbery. Because if I was his friend, for example, I'm a tech guy. I know tech, right? Yeah. I'd be like, they have an app called Find My iPhone. You're not going to get away with this. Well, and by the way, if hold on. If you have Android, it also exists in Android. 
It's not called Find My Android. It's called Device Administrator. It's in the Android. Anyway, you can find your freaking Android also. So it doesn't matter what cell phone. Stealing a cell phone is a bad idea. Maybe 10 years ago, 5 years yeah, ago, yeah. you still the, a Palm the next Pilot. Cells, the, you, you, you still a Palm Pilot or Blackberry. Yeah, you could change the shit. But stealing an iPhone, I, I mean... I would tell him. I would. I would advise against that. <laughs> yeah, dude. So this guy, the, the people praising this group. I'm, I would praise him too because there's some times that I take pictures when I'm drinking too much. That's incriminating, and I don't want no one to see that shit. So I think I think he's a half hero. He's a dick for stealing all these fucking phones, but he's a half hero because he just saved a hundred kids from taking pictures that might be on the internet and might be tomorrow's meme. I will agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. Hero. No, no. I think he's a, he's a dumb thief. You know, like, like they have those stories like where like a thief, a thief does something dumb. Like that's one yeah, of Yeah, he's dumb. dumb. Like they steal a cop car or something. Like that's like a dumb thing to do. You know, like he didn't think it all through. But no. Maybe he was under something. Maybe he was on E or maybe he was Shit, on. Shit, Coachella, you never know. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, so you'd be, what is it, rolling or whatever? You're rolling, 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 he, rolling. He's, he's on Molly. He's on that. Whatever. He cracking a molly. He's drinking the same thing that Drake's groupie's drinking. He leaning on that dro- groupie drink. On that drink. All right. So let's he move on. on that groupie nine. Let's move on. But this is going to turn into positive vibes because we talked about so much negative. We talked about the birds and the bees and Gio finding out that he was watching a, 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 a cartoon for years and he just found it. <laughs> we talking yeah. about Vin Diesel beef. So we're going to do positive vibes. All right. Positive, positive, vibes. positive vibes. Positive vibes. So positive vibes to me right now. Is I'm loving the Kendrick Lamar album. Yep. So if y'all haven't listened to it, and if you if you listen to it, you don't know what the heck is about. Like my wife, she's just like, I don't understand what it's about. Like just break it down, and like if you go to Rap Genius or whatever, it breaks down the the, the songs. And you're like, oh my god, this is so positive. Anyway, so he releases a DNA video. Yep. Right. So you saw the DNA. Video. I saw. I just recently. Oh think? my god. Um. Go watch it. DNA. Fuck it. Kendrick Lamar. Watch it. DNA. Uh, Watch he, it right after this. He released Don, Ch- Don Cheeto, Don Cheeto, Cheeto, John Cheetos, Cheeto, Cheetos. Che- <laughs> so yeah, yeah so you basically, basically it- Don Cheetos is in it, and he is uh, he's an amazing actor. He he goes and he plays Kendrick Lamar. He raps the Kendrick Lamar's freaking bars. songs like they go bars. across a bar and, and going back and forth. Like, one of the most as dope, as, a, as a performer myself, mm. I I feel that it was. Just amazing. It was dope. It was creative. It was creative the way it was done. And Kendrick Lamar, you know, he's always just known for being creative and being thinking out the box. But look what I caught. What? During the video, you know how he switches flows. Yeah. The whole thing switched. Yeah. The whole. I mean, you you got Don Cheetos. Yeah. And then the whole that when the when uh, Lamar switches flow. Yeah. The whole feel. The whole uh, video. Of the whole switch. video just switched. Switch right, right. And it switch. wasn't about. The image no more. At that point, it was about the Celeb- words. celebration. Yeah, the it, words. It was the whole thing, man. It's, but go ahead. It's, it's, it's no. I mean, it was just it was just uh, creative. Very creative. You know, because you can't compare him to anybody. You can't say oh, he's biting off of this guy or he's 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 biting his video off of this guy. He's very original. He's very authentic, and that's what I love about Kendrick Lamar. And he's he's inspiring. It's like inspiring. If you really break down what the song DNA is about, like it's very inspiring. So, and the fact that he did took Don Cheeto, a renowned prolific actor to rap his bars and rap his he had to memorize his song his, his, his verse and they started going back and forth like it was dope man he was wearing like the, was, the Kung yeah. Fu outfit cause they call him Kung Fu Kenny in the album like yo it was it was dope so anyway chime down below what y'all think about the video we're gonna post it down below in the links and uh yeah I think it's, it's uplifting it's different and like you know Humble yep. Humble. have you seen the Humble video I have and he shows like close ups of the women's stretch marks mm-hmm. and women that are not, you know, photoshopped and don't have special effects. Cause again, he's about thinking about the outside the box. He doesn't want women that are like he, he's trying to li- model he's trying to lift the consciousness of the exactly. world. Exactly. He's trying to lift Which the is different. We don't and they're wearing We haven't the had that. Honestly, we haven't had that since Tupac. Nah, man, exactly. And and that's what he's about. And it's funny because um in one of the shots in DNA Oh, uh, they show Tupac and Snoop. And uh, is this Snoop? Yep, Tupac and Snoop. It was, um, you see, it was America's it was, it was, Most it was, Wanted. It was, it was in the background, right? Yeah, and, Tupac and, and Snoop, and, and, I, I and he it. had, like, a pool table, and he had, like, he had his Emmys or Grammys lined up, and then, like, someone broke it down. Like, all the nerds, the, the rap nerds, they, they break it down, like, every shot for shot. 
But they, uh, there was a shot of like Tupac in the frame. And anyway, so you know, he's West Coast, so there's a lot of like inspiration there. But yeah, shout out to Kendrick Lamar, shout out to Positive Vibes, shout out to him inspiring us and putting something positive. Definitely. But with that, ends our show. With that, brings it to the end of our show. And guys, I want to say it's a social thank media. you for watching. Social media. Share. Oh, this is a social media network. You sharing is caring. And if you ain't sharing, you ain't caring. You better be hitting that like button. You be hitting that subscribe button. You better be going to Patreon and donating a dollar. A dollar to makes, us makes a difference. Makes a difference. It helps us fix Jill's face. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, uh, we want to continue doing this. And we enjoy doing it. It's so much fun. And we have a lot of projects in the works. And, you know, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, but we love doing it. We love the process, so we appreciate any support that we can get. And remember, for $50, Jill will clean your car in a thong. Uh, don't go. I mean, here you go. And, uh, and, and uh, thank y'all so much for the support. Thank y'all for watching. Been more live. Twiggle is to book it. Twiggle is to book that shit. <laughs> Twiggle is to book it. And uh, we'll catch y'all next week. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>